Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So in this one, I'm gonna show you my three-step process to find in validated products that you can scale to over $1,000 per day relatively quickly. So last week I did a case study video of this store here and we can see that in the first week of October, there were no results at all. It was a brand new store that started purely for Q4. Um, this first week then from, in fact, let's make this a bit bigger, from the 7th to the 14th, we can see then from the 7th to the 12th results were pretty modest. This was just purely the testing phases, trying to validate the product and essentially see if there's any potential there. Once the product is then validated, so if we skip ahead 15th to the 31st, we can start applying some scaling strategies because the product has shown that it's good enough to then apply more money to, to apply bigger budgets to. And we were able to scale things up and actually hit that benchmark number of $1,000 per day on the final day of the month. If we take a look at how things look for November um, results were continuing to be consistent and we're now doing in and around sort of $1,500 um, per day. All things going well as we get closer to Christmas and obviously we have Black Friday coming up, then I see no reason why I won't be able to hit say 40 to 50K in the month of November. Finding products like this then that you can get results pretty instantly, then as I mentioned earlier, it all comes down to verifying the product and validating that it has that sort of potential. And in this video, I've managed to break it down to a three-step process that anybody can go through for any products that they find. And that's what I'm gonna show you in this video today. Before we jump into it though, if you're new around here and you wanna see more of my content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And of course, if you enjoy the video and you learn something new, please consider dropping a like as well. And then that way, I know what sort of videos you guys like and I can produce more content that you want to see. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoy it. And let's jump straight into step one. So step one is obviously you have to find the products. Typically I go to three different places to do this. Number one, sell the trend. Number two, drop us by. And number three, sales source. I've done individual videos on these platforms that are about 10 to 15 minutes long going into depth, showing you exactly how I use them. So in this video, I'll just give maybe do a minute or so, just showing you kind of like the main features of each one. So typically how I like to use sell the trend is I'll go straight to the products dashboard. And um, then I'll go straight to all products. That way I'm kind of making sure that I'm looking and kind of filtering results from every single product that they're tracking. So I'm gonna be looking at the best of the best. Um, categories and niches, I don't really use that unless I'm trying to find an existing product to to go along with one that I'm already looking for. But what I'm interested in this point is the filters. So here we can go for dropship and verified. We can stick to specific countries too to make sure that we can offer faster shipping. And then we can also change the dates up to look for products that have been found recently. But typically I'll just go for dropship and verified. And then I'm gonna actually sort the products um, by total orders. That way I'm gonna be looking at the products that have the most orders and therefore definitely have that demand. Another thing I also like to check is if I go by daily orders. That way I'm looking at things that are more current today. So here I would expect to see a lot of Christmas related products, which we can see. So we have Christmas lights, um, we have more lights, we have this Christmas felt tree, which featured in one of my other videos. This is a great product by the way. And of course we have this heated vest too, which is another featured product of mine. As we get closer to the winter months or into kind of like the, the depths of winter, if you like, as it gets colder here, the more and more people are gonna be looking for these sorts of products. The second software I like to use is Dropper Spy. This is a brilliant, brilliant, software that I actually pay for myself. I'm not affiliated with these guys. The reason being is because they are filtering ads by engagement. And if you can find an ad that's getting lots and lots of engagement and lots of positive comments, then obviously that's just evidence, hardcore evidence and validation that it's a good product. So make sure you sign up to the paid plan because then you get the ads from the last two months. You can actually look at things which are super popular right now. If you use the free plan and you don't get anything from the last two months. So in fact, try the free plan, see how you get on but what I've usually found is when you're using the premium plan you can find things that are a lot more current um, and have a lot more potential so the way I use this software is I hit filters and then starting from the very top. So I keep the media type to images and videos. There's a lot of really nice products that I've found that are using images. And if you can sell a product well using images, you can definitely sell it even better using videos in my opinion. So the top kind of section, um, I'll leave blank. As for the target audience, I always, always, always filter by United States of America and United Kingdom by a very minimum. Um, Facebook have a big kind of population of like Asian countries that run ads that aren't really relevant. So by filtering by US and UK, you're gonna be sticking more to kind of drop shipping related ads. Um, language, sex, and age can all stay the same. Domain can stay the same. Um, and then I'm gonna go for Shopify. And 
as for the call to actions, I'm going to go for shop now. I'm going to go for get offer. I'm going to go for um, there's one more that I usually select. Which one is it? Uh, buy now. Oh, and order now as well, which I just saw below it. That way you're going to be filtering by those ads which are encouraging somebody to actually buy something and therefore you're more likely to kind of target those e-commerce related ads. Reactions, this is where kind of Drop Buy earns its money. You can find things that are super popular. So if, for instance, we go up to a thousand shares, we can see the results kind of taking effect in the background and then hit search. All of these different things are essentially meeting those parameters that we just um, selected essentially. So straight away, we can see the Galaxy Lite. We can see it's got 26,000 engagements. If we hit the Facebook button, it will actually take us to the Facebook actual post itself. So then we can actually look at the comments and we're looking for positive things that people are saying about the product, which are gonna to indicate to us whether it's a good one um, and whether it can actually move on to step two, which I'll show you in a second. Let's go back to the results and see if we can find anything else. So we have this Acra Marine Stone Tree, which has 140,000 likes, which is crazy. Let's have a look at the details for this one. Another advantage to using Drop Spy 2 is you might not necessarily sell the exact same product, but you can actually get the link to the Shopify store. And so if we head onto the Shopify store that's selling this product whilst it's loading up now, there's obviously free Chrome extensions um, like Koala Inspector. If it decides to load for me today, we can go to products and then we can find the best selling products for the Shopify store as well. Let's go back to our results zone, keep scrolling down. And as you can see, there's loads and loads of products. Almost every single one of these ads is an AliExpress dropshipping product, which we could use. We have um, heaven patch, knee, heel, relief things, wherever they are. And this one looks quite interesting. 7K likes, which is good. 2K comments. In fact, let's take a look at this ad um, and see if this one has any potential. So as it's loading up, we can see it's a serene living store that's actually selling it. It doesn't look like a branded store around kind of this kind of products like health and solution product, if you like. Let's take a look at the comments. So I got mine last week, so straight away we can see somebody's actually bought this product, which is good. Um, I'm order already, that's why I'm excited. Two people already ordered it. Um, can you use it? I like it. I want it. I like it. It looks great. Just ordered. So straight away we can see that people are actually buying this product. So this essentially has that validation that we're looking for in order to scale up super quickly. Moving on to Salesforce then, by the way, if you guys want a video of more in depth of any of these things or anything in this video, by the way, just make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. So Salesforce, we can go straight to products on the left hand side. And again, we want to make sure we're looking at drop shipping products. We don't want to be selling products that people are buying in bulk just yet. Um, as for all countries, we're going to go down to the bottom and select United States for America. That way we can make sure we're focusing on products that we can source and sell um, to the correct people. What I also like about Salesforce is you can see the fulfillment options on the right hand side here. So we can see that this is actually being fulfilled through Obolo, which leads me to believe that it's an AliExpress product. It's getting 1.7 million um, monthly views, this particular source, uh, this particular store, sorry, and this is their best selling product. So again, it's just another validated product. We can potentially add to the list and then move on to step two. Moving on to step two then, so we've found the products and we've shortlisted some. Number two, we need to actually verify the products themselves. So the first point, Facebook ads slash posts with high engagement and positive comments. So if we just go back to this um, kind of back pain relief, this this is exactly what I'm looking for. So it's got 2000 comments. A post doesn't get 2000 comments or 2000 shares or 7000 likes this sort of engagement unless it's actually making somebody money. Plus it doesn't get the comments of oh, I got mine last week or I've ordered or um, looks great just ordered or people are asking for the price or people saying they're liking it um, unless people are actually wanting to buy it. So these are all the kind of points and all the kind of little bits of evidence and validation that you're looking for um, which shows a product has potential. Step two or step two then, another way to find out whether a product is in demand and actually validate um, it has that potential is to use AliExpress daily order volumes. And we can check these um, in the AliExpress dropshipping center. Not everybody will have this in their account. So what you need to do is search for it on Google, find the link, and then it will kind of open up access to it for you. So as it says here, then what we're looking for is order volumes over 1% of the total uh, orders. So if we take this heated vest as an example, it has 5,000 orders. Um, a good kind of benchmark number for this is if it's getting over 50 orders per day, then it shows that it's in demand today. There's people actually ordering it and buying it today. So what we do is we take 
the AliExpress link. We head into our product analysis in our dropshipping center. We paste it in here and hit analyze. And what we can see is the average daily order volumes for this product is way over 50. It's probably more closer to 60, um, 70 orders per day. So what this tells us is that this product, yes, it has thousands of orders, but it's still got a high demand today. And the obvious reason for this is we're coming into winter. So more and more people are looking for those things that are going to keep them warm whilst they're outside doing their dog walking or doing their hiking or commuting, um, whatever it may be. The final step then to verify on your product is using Google Trends. It's free. I recommend everybody use this. I've been using it for many years now. Um, a really, really handy tool, some great information you can learn from it. So on Google Trends, um, just open up a tab um, and just put in the niche or more specifically the actual products in fact. So if we put in here heated vest and what we want to look for is the results from the past 12 months um, as well as the past five years because then we have an overall picture of how kind of in demand or how popular that product is over those time periods. So this is United Kingdom 2004 to present. We can see that kind of typically in November, December time, if I can select that, um, it heats its it hits, sorry, its peak popularity. And we can see it's kind of on its way down. That may be because November has been pretty mild so far. So maybe when we get some colder weather, it'll be better. But in the grand scheme of things, let's have a look at the past five years. So we can see actually in terms of the last five years is actually quite in demand. This is why it's always important to have a look at different time periods. And if we have a look at the past 12 months, we can see that again, it's kind of at a 55. So it's not at peak demand. Like I said, here in the UK, we've had a pretty mild November. So maybe that's the reason why. Perhaps when we get colder weather in December, January time, um, it'll be even more popular, which makes it a great product to start thinking about or shortlisting now and potentially building a store around in the next couple of weeks. Moving on to step three then. So up to this point, we've found the product itself. Number two, we've verified it's an in-demand um, popular products that people are buying and want to buy. Um, at step three, we need to make sure whether it's an actual viable product Product, can we actually drop ship this? So number one, obviously we need to make sure we can turn a profit. So can you sell the products for more than $20, the cost of goods, including delivery? So if we take this heated vest as another example, if you go for kind of the middle of the road, so I've gone for large, um, I've gone for the nine areas heated black, it, the cost to us because it comes with free shipping is 17 pounds delivered. So can we sell this for a minimum of 17 pounds plus 20, 37 pounds? You can always double check this by using things like sales source to find other stores selling the product. And this will give you a good idea of what people are being able to sell it for, which will tell you whether you can sell it for that same price or not. The next thing you need to make sure is can you find a supplier which has good reviews, um, not just the supplier itself, but the actual product. So if we go back to the heated vest, um, it has 4.4 stars over 5,000 orders, which is obviously pretty good. If you have something that's kind of four stars or under, go into the reviews and see why they're getting those bad reviews. If they're the sorts of things that you can fix, then consider contacting the supplier and seeing if you can fix those. If they're not, for example, it's potentially a dangerous product, then I would steer clear from it. Number three, can you get 10 day shipping or better? Personally, I won't touch anything that doesn't come with shipping as fast as this. I can't stress enough that the faster you get your products to your customers, the more likely they are to come back to you and the less likely they are to drop a claim on PayPal or ask for a refund. So the faster you can ship your products, the better. And last but not least, you have to keep in mind the lifespan of the product. If you're finding a product which is going to sell really well all the way up to Christmas, then obviously after Christmas, nobody's going to be buying it. And you need to keep this in mind so you don't overcommit yourself or run out of time. Another thing to keep in mind is if you're selling a trending product, so for example, like the heated vest, which obviously as we hit the summer months is going to drop out of demand, then make sure you have another product lined up so those sales can kind of be balanced out. As one comes down, another one comes in to make up for the loss. And so with that being said, they're the three kind of steps that I go through to find in verified products. There are a lot more points, but so I don't make the video too long. Um, they are the main ones. If you do want to learn more, then make sure you check out my Ecom Academy Clubhouse. It comes with the product research checklist you can see on the screens now, which comes with different points about the product. As you can see, there's a lot more than what we went through in this video. You can put any products into it and you answer the questions and it will tell you whether it's a good or bad product or not. It is a course that I created, but it's not your typical course. I don't believe in those ridiculous thousand dollar plus price tag so it will cost you less than a meal for two. It comes with twice the content of most courses you'll ever find out there and it also includes tried and proven tested strategies like I've shown you in this video. So if you want more information on that make sure you check out the link in the description below. Apart from that thanks for staying with me. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did please consider dropping a like and if you want to see more please consider subscribing too. Thanks again and hopefully see you guys in the next one.